Okay, back in Gino's transaction performance. Here again. I got something else I'm going to talk about. Uh, 378 main shafts. There's two ways you can use this in the old gear carrier. By cutting it down to fit the uh, old gear carrier bearing and uh, using the split bearing on here or pack it around with bearings either way if you want to and uh, you can put this in and use the hub with all the teeth on it and the other way is cut it down like this and key it like like this here 378 main shaft and the 378 gear and, uh, this is the 10 tooth that has a line on it line on it right here the blocker rings are the same on this as they are on here and the 380 shaft the same as on here this is a brand new 380 gear now it has a groove on it but it's the older gears this is a brand new one that's made by uh, BW Audi and they grooved it don't ask me why but it's the uh, 11 tooth I guess it is this is the 9 tooth here super beetle shaft this is a 10 tooth, I think that's the way it is. I just know it. Uh, but uh, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, and that's 9. I know it is. So the 10 tooth usually doesn't have no line on their low gear. And uh, the 9 tooth idler gear does have a line on it. And you can use this reverse gear they make one for for that slider if you want to use the late style slider here they make a brass cage reverse gear for it I got them you can call them. and this is the later style uh, super beetle whatever they use them even on 091's somebody will say oh they don't but they do this is the two groove, which takes this here, has two grooves on here. You can use that one on, on there, on the hub. Uh, now this is the old style, which you can use too, here. It has a ring on it. If it has a groove in there, on the teeth here and it's the old style straight with no uh, like this with no grooves on they have different teeth on them I forget what the count is uh, you don't have to cut it but if it doesn't have that groove on like this one here you can take 20 thousandths off this side 20 thousandths off this side and it's the same as this one this one and this one all three of the the, the gears that's all you have to do and you can use the old one uh, I don't throw throw these away these old ones here are are good and uh, the reverse gears, they still make them all. I got all that stuff. If you need it, call me. This one here is going to have to go get cut. So I'll put it over here on the other table. I am going to be getting a lathe here before long. Uh, my buddy is uh, moving out of the area and he wants to sell it. So I'm going to get it. So I'll be cutting those myself. But that's the, the key. The synchronizers are the same on all these two gears. You know, uh, the, uh, yeah, 378 
and the 380. Matter of fact, you can even use a 091 378 gear which is wider and fills up these teeth and if you want to use it on the street with synchronizers use their synchronizer which fits on the 091 and it fits in the hub but you have to cut 40 thousandths off of the uh, slider hub on this side and uh, it'll work fine that's the only thing so somebody says I never give tips now there's some good tips uh, from Gino's transaxle performance and if you can't understand what I'm talking about I'll try to explain to you on the phone 412-384-8012 but some of these people try to make this stuff complicated it's not complicated complicated at all I'll get it out right it's not complicated at all it's just knowing what to do and uh, don't worry sometimes it even bites you in the rear limb uh, it's not all just put it together and do it so I like working on boxes I've done it since 68 and I still like it. But there's a brand new 380 first gear. I'm running low. If anybody wants to sell me some of these, I'll be glad to buy them if the price is right. Has to be right. Talk to you all later from Gino's air cooled or VW air cooled transaxle performance.